Good afternoon, everyone. Kalispera. Welcome to this uh, press point with Commissioner Pia Moscovici and Greek Finance Minister Euclid Sakalotos. We will have short statements by each of the gentlemen and we'll have time for just one or two of your questions. Commissioner, perhaps you'd like to start. Uh, thank you. Uh, it was a pleasure for me to, to welcome my, my friend Euclid Sakalotos here in the Belle um, We I didn't pull his here. Uh, I didn't um, do anything with his hand except shaking this hand <laughs> uh, because we had a, a very uh, good and consistent um, exchange of view as well on substance and on uh, process. Uh, the view of the Commission is that a lot has been done uh, in the past period in order to uh, succeed uh, and to uh, make this uh, program a, a, a real success. Uh, as you know, we have uh, concluded in a timely, ma timely manner the first review, uh, which led to uh, a very important disbursement, and uh, we are moving in the right direction in order uh, to conclude the second review, which is uh, still uh, a common goal that we uh, pursue. Uh, on a lot of items, we've reached an agreement. Uh, very few of them are still on the table. We discussed them, and I hope uh, that the reforms uh, can be uh, going until uh, a good end so that we can conclude the uh, review uh, swiftly. Uh, we also discussed about debt measures and uh, the way uh, to go back to the uh, agreement which was achieved in the 5th of December. Uh, so uh, it was a very substantial and very positive exchange of view uh, that we intend, of course, to pursue uh, in order to find a solution uh, to what is still on the table as soon as possible uh, and as good as uh, possible. I'm confident uh, that we will make uh, this uh, program a success because what this commission wants, the Juncker Commission, is to have a strong Greece uh, into a, a strong Eurozone. Uh, what we hope is that we will have a win-win situation where uh, strong reforms uh, need to the return of confidence and investment uh, and uh, also to growth and, and jobs in Greece uh, and stability uh, in the country and in the whole Eurozone. We are on the right way. We uh, must pursue our efforts, uh, but we uh, will go on uh, with a very uh, confident uh, and uh, intensive uh, collaboration, cooperation between uh, the Commission and the Greek government in the framework of the Eurogroup and with the other institutions, because of course uh, the Commission uh, always wants to work with the other institutions involved. Thank you, Pierre, um, and thank you for your hospitality. It's always a pleasure to be here and to, to meet you. Um, I, I completely agree that we had a very construct, constructive uh, discussion, both on the process and the substance of the uh, second review. We both share the feeling that Greece is finally on the road to recovery, that growth is back, that we're going to have three consecutive periods of three consecutive quarters of positive uh, growth and that uh, neither of us want to see that growth to be put at risk by any increased uncertainty. So we've agreed to work closely together and with the other institutions and the member states to see that we can reach an agreement on all the aspects of the second review not just the structural reforms that we have been carrying out, and many of which have already been uh, uh, legislated, but also on the issue of the post-2018 period and also the medium-term uh, debt measures. Uh, I feel that all the players um, uh, are getting closer and closer to finding an overall solution. When there are so many players, it, it's difficult because there's a, a lot of um, issues to be discussed and there's a lot of, as you all know, elections coming up which complicates uh, matters. But uh, I think, it, it, I'm not putting words into Pierre's mouth when I say 
that we're both confident that with goodwill, um, these matters, the problems that still remain, can be uh, overcome, and both of us look forward to, to that, to make sure that Greece's uh, long period of a vicious um, uh, circle is turned into a virtuous cycle. Thank you very, very much to both of you. Apologies. We have to take your questions in English, if you don't mind, Yanis. And introduce yourselves Hello. as well, please. Uh, Ioannis Antipas from Protothema in Athens, Greece. A question to the Greek minister. Uh, do you think it's still possible to conclude the second review by January? And if not, can it be done by February? Thank you. Well, like I said, when there's so many players, there is, um, there's always uh, issues to be discussed and agreements to, to be made. Uh, what I can tell you at this, uh, at, at this moment in time is that I think that there is um, a positive momentum. The momentum is in the, the right direction. I think all parties are looking for uh, a solution and not many parties are looking to uh, create a problem in that forward momentum. So whether it will be January or a bit later, I don't know at this stage, but I think that we're, we're agreed, especially with Pierre, that the sooner the better. Uh, a word, if, even if the question is not for me, uh, where there is a will, there is a way. Uh, and we believe that the conclusion of the second review is still uh, as well possible and wishable. And uh, yes, I can confirm that the sooner is the better. We uh, must uh, make all our efforts uh, so that it comes as soon as possible. Go ahead. Christina Vasilaki, Athens News Agency. Uh, question to both of you. Um, you said that there are difficulties. Uh, what are exactly the steps uh, that uh, will allow uh, the return of the institutions to Athens and by when you expect this? Thank you. Uh, the problem is not so much about the return of the institutions to Athens. Um, if the institutions return to Athens, it must be uh, to prepare the last element of a, a staff level agreement, uh, which we believe uh, must be the pre-conclusion uh, of the process before uh, uh, the assessment by the uh, Eurogroup. We've got, in reality, uh, out of 80 items, very few of them still on the table, uh, namely uh, the energy reform, uh, the uh, collective uh, bargaining uh, debate, and uh, the uh, correct evaluation of the fiscal gap. And there the Commission uh, sticks to the figures it had mentioned uh, in uh, previous months. Uh, so there are still uh, some efforts to be made, still uh, some reforms to be adopted. But uh, again, uh, this is, I think, uh, largely in our capacity. I, I agree. I, I don't think the main issue is w w when and if the uh, mission chiefs return to Athens. We have three blocks of issues uh, to discuss. The first block is the reforms within the programme period. The second is the fiscal path after the programme period. And the third block is the medium term uh, debt measures. What has bedeviled the negotiations and would have been easier is the sequencing program, uh, uh, process. When do you discuss which, in, in what order? And that's one of the reasons I think there has been a delay. Uh, and I think we're now at a stage where um, we can discuss these issues all together, and that should help to uh, accelerate the process. Thank you. Politico. Hey, Bjorg uh, Just a quick question. As you mentioned, we have elections coming up, and it seems that we are running out of time, and Greece could be soon running out of money, according to current estimates, around in April. Would you be willing to move on without the IMF? Um, the IMF has to make its uh, own decision. Uh, it has to balance uh, what it thinks about the program uh, and the level of its participation. Because as you know, it's not a one-zero binary choice for the IMF uh, it, it, uh, concerning its uh, participation. But I, I, I think um, the, I've, I've been now in this job one and a half years, uh, and I was uh, involved in the negotiations even before that. I've heard many times that we're running out of time. Um, and I think that uh, I take it 
that uh, time is of the essence. I, I understand that the Greek people uh, are desperate for a solution to have a career runway in front of them. I understand that investors want uh, a clear runway. I think we're getting close to that, but I don't think it's a fair description, uh, either from the uh, perspective of investors or for the perspective of politicians that we're running out of time. I think time is of the essence. People need to see that there is forward momentum. That's very important. But I think that um, if we keep that forward momentum, I think that will be uh, some comfort to both investors in and out of the country and also the Greek people th themselves who, who deserve to have some clear water in front of them to be able to feel that uh, Greece has changed uh, the corner. Having been in the uh, Eurogroup for almost five years now, I can confirm <laughs> your uh, reflection on time, uh, even if there is no reason to waste time. So again, let's move uh, swiftly, and the sooner is the better. For the IMF, uh, the Commission uh, always acts in a framework uh, of a group of institutions, uh, namely uh, the uh, ESM and the ECB uh, for the, the uh, European part, uh, plus the IMF. And we are always uh, trying to get a collective position uh, involving the IMF. I also know uh, by experience that the presence of the IMF is a very reassuring uh, necessity uh, for uh, some member states without whom there is no uh, possible agreement. And uh, as long as it is uh, as it is, uh, we must uh, proceed uh, as we do. Thank you very much to the two of you and to those of you for attending and have a great rest of the day. Thank you.